everyone. We are back to Sunday, and I have another wonderful story for you. It's a parable again. Remember, a parable is a story that was given by Jesus to help people understand more about God, more about the kingdom of heaven, and more about himself. So let's get into our story. This one comes from the book of Luke, chapter 15. Now, the people uh, had gathered with Jesus at a meal, but some of the people that were there, they couldn't figure out why Jesus was eating with certain people because they were sinners and they were poor people and they were not wonderful like they were. So why in the world would Jesus be with them? And so they asked Jesus, why are you with these sinners? Why are you with these people? So Jesus told the parable and this is how it goes. There once was a woman and she had 10 coins. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. But one day she realized one of her coins was missing. She needed that money. She started searching everywhere, going around the house. And it started to get dark out, but she hadn't found her money. And she needed this money. So she lit a lamp so she could see by. And she started lifting up the furniture, picking up the tables and the chairs. And she started sweeping even the rugs. And all of a sudden, when she picked up the rug, she noticed there was the coin. So she'd been sweeping and sweeping and sweeping and she'd been cleaning and cleaning and cleaning when the whole time the coin had fallen underneath the rug. Now her joy was so incredible that she called together her friends and her family to celebrate with her over finding this lost coin. And then Jesus says, the kingdom of heaven is like this. The angels will rejoice over one lost sinner being found. Have you ever lost something and you searched everywhere for it and you just couldn't find it? And then all of a sudden you found it and you were like, yes, I found it. And you went and told mom or dad, look, mom, I found it. That happened in our house the other day. My son was looking for a book. He had this book he was looking for and he couldn't find this book. And I said, well, go clean your room. My room is clean. I said, can't help you. I didn't, I didn't have it last. You're the one that had it. You're the one that's got to look for it. You want it, you look for it. So he looked and he looked and he looked. Guess where he found it? Under his pillow on his bed. He was so excited when he found it. He came running down the stairs. Mom, 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 I found my book. And I said, well, where'd you find it? Under my pillow. But you know what? I was so happy for him that he kept looking, that he just didn't give up looking. And you know, sometimes we start looking for something and we give up. God doesn't want us to give up, especially on people. He wants us to always think about others and to pray for each other. And remember, when one sinner decides to turn towards God, all of heaven rejoices. Let us pray. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this story of the lost coin and reminding us that each and every one of us is special. Doesn't matter who we are, where we come from, each and every one of us is a gift to you and to each other. Help us to remember that. And when we come to you, you rejoice, you celebrate with us. In your very precious name, amen. You all have a wonderful Sunday. It's Father's Day. Go give Daddy a big hug and a kiss and tell him you love him. Bye, all. Have a great day.